How to turn $10,000 into $100,000 using compound interest. Is this even possible? And how long will it take? The content of today's video will be What assets to invest in? What kind of appreciation can we expect? Four examples of how to reach $100,000. What is compound interest in simple words? Example of compound interest at Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. We can start investing at any time even with zero money. However, it will be wiser and much faster to have an initial capital. In our case, we have $10,000 to start with. It's not a large amount, but uh, it can still appreciate significantly over time. Of course, we will follow the basic rules of thrift and economy with our money. We don't want to lose money. What assets to invest in? Bonds generally earn little and, for example, options and other derivatives are not suitable for long-term investing. Stocks, on the other hand, are a great tool for stock market investing. But to avoid having to think too much about the investment, I'll choose a simple investment approach of buying an ETF with the SPY ticker, just like Warren Buffett recommends. And that is to consistently buy an S&P 500 low-cost index fund keep buying it through thick and thin, and especially through thin, because uh, the temptation gets, when you see bad headlines in newspapers, maybe to say, well, maybe I should skip a year or something. So just keep buying it. American business is going to do fine over time. What kind of appreciation we can expect? I'll skip the notions of glowing appreciation by trading into high-risk startups for now. Thousands of percent appreciation is tempting and stunning, but only a fraction of traders are able to achieve such results. I'm not even talking about long-term and consistent appreciation. On my channel Invest with Jerry, I cover serious investing with long-term appreciation using compound interest and long-term asset holdings. That's why I'm going in that direction today as well. As I mentioned, the calculator will simulate the appreciation of SPY ETF which is the S&P 500 index with the top 500 companies in America. The average appreciation of such an ETF over the long term is around 10% per year, not counting inflation. I will simulate the appreciation of our $10,000 using several examples to show the possibilities of each. First example, one-time deposit of $10,000, that's it. If we net invested $10,000 at 10% interest, we would need roughly 23 years for our investment to appreciate to $100,000 due to compound interest. As shown in the table, I invest $10,000 in one lump sum and receive interest of $88,796. While it's no miracle that after 23 years we will appreciate our $10,000 to $100,000, it's absolutely worry free. To simplify, we just open a brokerage account, put $10,000 in and withdraw $100,000 after 23 years. That's it. But how could we make our investment appreciate faster? What parameters are our foot? For example, we could add a tiny amount per month to our investment account and thus shorten our investment time. The second example, a deposit of $10,000 and a regular deposit of $110 per month. In the compound interest table, we keep the $10,000 as the initial deposit and add $110 per month to it, which we will add to the investment on a regular basis. It will only take us 16 years to get to the final amount of $100,000. As you can see, we put in a total of $31,000 and receive $69,800 in interest. This already sounds much more interesting and just $110 per month will reduce our total investment time by a whopping 7 years. So this means that even by making tiny deposits each month, we can significantly reduce the time to reach $100,000. The third example, a deposit of $10,000 and a regular deposit of $360 per month. We come to the third option where we regularly add $360 per month to our deposited $10,000 at 10% interest. It will only take us 10 years to reach $100,000 under these conditions, which is fantastic. In total, we will deposit $52,000 and receive interest of $46,700. The result will be just under $100,000 and the achievement of our dream goal. 
I could stop with the simulations here, but let's try one more example and flip the whole approach. The fourth example, how much capital do we need to raise $100,000 in 10 years? I entered the known values in the table. One time deposits $0, monthly deposits $0. The appreciation is 10%, the investment horizon is 10 years and now I'm just looking for the amount to add to initial investment for our goal of $100,000. The idle amount is $37,000, in 10 years I will receive interest of $63,000. But does me strain a bit from our goal of appreciating $10,000? A simple compound interest calculator is great fun. I've included the calculator in the video caption. It will help you easily simulate different deposit amounts, whether one time or monthly, and the length of years you will hold the investment. Open the calculator through your Gmail account, make a copy of it, and you can start working with it. What is compound interest in simple words? This is a method of calculating interest in which interest for a given period is added to the original capital, and then the entire sum is compounded in the next period. This process is repeated resulting in an exponential increase in the resulting amount, or snowball effect. When we get chances to deploy the capital, we've, we've always tried to make any entity, whether it was the partnership originally, or the or Berkshire <coughs> now, or Blue Chip Snaps when we owned it, or or even diversified redeem, we, we wanted them all to be compounding, in effect, be compounding machines. That's why people gave us capital, that's why we put our own capital in. Mathematically, compound interest can be expressed by the formula, where FV is the future value, PV is the present value or initial capital, R is the interest rate expressed as a decimal number, for example 0.05 for 5%, N is the number of periods over which the capital earns interest. Compound interest is a very powerful tool for investors. Buffett's investment in Berkshire Hathaway is a great example of the power of compound interest. When he and his shareholders began investing in Berkshire Hathaway in 1965, the price per share was approximately $18.50. Thanks to Buffett's ability to generate high returns on his investments and his long-term holding strategy, the value of Berkshire Hathaway stock has steadily increased. As of February 2024, the price of a share of Berkshire Hathaway stock is around $600,000. Example of compound interest that Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. Buffett's ability to reinvest stock gains back into the company and to use the power of compound interest in this way has contributed to the rapid increase in the value of Berkshire Hathaway's stock portfolio, creating significant wealth for its shareholders. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope it helped broaden your investment horizons and inspired you to try more. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great time and invest wisely.